Are you concerned about coastal erosion? Keep watching to explore one of San Francisco Bay Area's most actively eroding coastlines. That place is Daly City, California. Sea level rise is not the only concern. Coastal erosion, also known as cliff retreat, averages inches a year, but we can lose over 15 feet in one event from landslides, from rain saturation, earthquakes, or storm wave undercutting. In this video, we explore coastal erosion around Daly City's three access beach points, Thornton Beach, Avalon Canyon, and Muscle Rock. We start at Avalon Canyon, which has some great hiking, but also has structures about to fall into the ocean. Muscle Rock Landfill is an unfortunate legacy of San Francisco's urban growth. Explore the efforts to keep the landfill out of the ocean. Next, our adventure is at Thornton Beach, where we're reminded of mankind's endless battle with the sea. If you think Avalon Canyon has a history of landslides, you're right. In 1972, you could still see the old highway grade that we'll talk about at the end of the video. The focus here is the church constructed in 2002 at the top of the cliff. About 500,000 cubic feet flowed down the hill only to disappear into the ocean. In 2014, the church had great parking, but by 2019, it was starting to erode. And by 2025, here we go. Now let's turn to the Muscle Rock Landfill. The 1950s was a growth period for housing in Daly City. 20 homes and Westline Drive were lost after El Nino storms caused landslides. This is where the garbage and debris went till 1979. Soil erosion has once again revealed the remnants of the site. Daly City allocated $1.7 million for the construction, containment, and mitigation of this debris flow into the ocean. Happy days! The landfill at Muscle Rock and Daly City has been remediated. The garbage is no longer visible, but it is still a great sea glass collecting place and one of the most popular hang gliding places in the entire San Francisco Bay Area. At the beach on the north edge of Daly City's Muscle Rock Landfill, there has historically been landslides. Unfortunately, even with additional rocks laid here, the erosion continues. Enjoy it while you can. Let's move on to Thornton Beach. Okay, this area of Daly City also involves coastal erosion. The rugged Daly City coast remained fairly inaccessible and sparsely populated until around 1905 when the Ocean Shore Railroad breached that isolation with a line intending to hug the ocean cliffs through Daly City as well as neighbor Pacifica, California. The San Andreas earthquake fault goes through Daly City. The loose sandstone cliffs holding up the track were no match for the huge 1906 earthquake, measuring 7.8 on the Richter scale. The initial loss of track and cars into the ocean, as well as ongoing landslide maintenance, caused the railroad to go bust by 1920. In the 1950s, with the post-World War II huge population growth in this area, the state decided to refurbish what was left of the railroad grid into Coastal Highway No. 1. An earthquake in 1956, measuring 5.3 on the Richter scale, put an end to that dream. In the 1950s, you could get a house with an ocean view in Daly City for $15,000. Having watched this coastal erosion video, I think you know how the story ends. The landscape shifted due to imminent landslide. Five homes on this cul-de-sac were either moved or torn down. The San Francisco housing market remains tight. One of the houses here just sold for $1.3 million. Remember, today is tomorrow's best of times. I'm Mike from That Place. Thanks for watching, and I really appreciate your support. Take good care.